sound like all the yeah, I'm sound like sick guy. interesting people that hang around this area in the middle of the night. Yeah. Go to the bars there. Avery, you're in the big city right now. Yeah, I tell you what. It's dead. Well, it's freaking five in the morning, man. Yeah, but it's the city, man. Where can you do a hundred thousand things at a quarter to four? New that, York, New York. Oh yeah, that's the Huey Lewis song. That's old, eh? That's the eighties. You used to hear it all the time when you went to the everywhere. To what? To the disco? Disco, yeah. I remember the disco. Under my God, that song will be stuck in my head for a hundred years. New York, New York. Under the isn't. silver ball. That sounds like Jacob right now. You can always tell them guys, right to the rug. I'm burning all my fuel. Right on time. That piece of shit rolls cold. Pick up some junk. That's a new toy. <laughs> Good morning, Jacob. Good morning. What you got in there? Three old artifacts, just from yesterday. I couldn't get it warm enough in the toaster oven. What the hell is that? Wow. That's breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Denver, where'd you get these from? From uh, the, from the cafe that I go to every day, Paper Crane. But I got them yesterday. I didn't think about that. There's two more. Thank you. They're good. Mm. I eat that every day. What is sausage? It's got sausage and egg and potato. Good morning, brother. You know where you're going? Yeah, to the ferry. What the f is that guy doing just time in the morning? You're not doing candy? To the right? Sure, I'll go to the ferry. I'm not doing candy. <laughs> I always go the other way. Yeah, but why would I do that? Yeah, this truck does smell interesting. Yeah, isn't it sweet? It just gets your hair standing up inside your nostrils. No, I'm gonna have one. Let's have one after. Uh, coffee on the boat. Oh, f yeah. Oh, yeah. Get a BC Sunny start. You know what that is? What's your name? Wait, Camby. This is Camby. Yeah. We can be anything you want to we be. We can be anything you want to be. You can be my hero. What have you been doing, anyways? Digging holes. <laughs> We're doing what? You've been putting in Tesla tar No. Did you Tesla stations? No, I haven't, we haven't done that in a while. That kind of all went to the wayside, I think, a little bit. I Pause for a second. Open my back window. It's dead. You're dying. <laughs> Open my back all the way, all the way. I want to get to the start of the city. All right. You build a wall as um, if, that, if, if the new house is going towards uh, if the new house is lower than the old house, then you got to stop it from falling into the hole, and they're only four feet apart. So you have a house that's got a, a 1900 or 1900s house that's got no basement or and half no, basement. And a foundation made. Oh out yeah, of oh yeah. That's just like slag. Trying to really maybe today practice not swearing, no sh and no. I promise. I can do that. Keep the cussing down. What? <clears throat> Not bad for 5 a.m. <laughs> can you hit my window, buddy? Yeah. Thanks. And then when you cross the bridge, I'll get a shot. I tell you what, explain this to me. What? Why is buying junk like a job? This would be fun. If you're getting a good deal, then it's fun. No, I think I'm mean, not a bad deal. I think you're getting a good deal. Anybody watching, it's his fault when we're going to look at this thing. He dug it out probably a year ago, eh? Yeah, at least, or two, maybe even two years ago. Yeah. I, I, it must be real good if nobody bought it since then. 
You talk to him a fair amount, though, yeah? I think it's interesting that the motor's in the front. Because, like, it's kind of like a homemade Argo to some degree, but... Well, it's exactly like a homemade Argo. But it's hydraulic drive, which is not Argo at all. It's more farmer tractor essence. Yeah. But uh, it looks hilarious because the motor's in the front. And uh, I think it might actually do well with balance of bodies in the in the tub. Well, if you put a bunch of shit in there and you're yeah. driving around, I think it would balance it out like a yeah. yeah. Well, we only need you and me in there, I think we'll be all right. Yeah. And then we can go try to sink it on Shushwap Lake. <laughs> Had a bad experience here with a roll gone already. Well, this one, this one went the roll. Nah, no, this one won't roll. No, the roll gone swiveled in the middle. So it's like this and you turn it like this and it went whoop, like that. <laughs> You guys are idiots. I tell you what. <coughs> I'm going to Campbell River and no, we're not going fishing. <laughs> I'm going to go pick some junk up. We're uh, re relocating some pre owned artifacts from here to there. And who are we with? With my dear stepson, Jacob and Jacob, that I haven't seen in about. Hi. It's been a while, eh? How long has it been? Probably oh, a couple months, it feels like. More than that, probably about four, three. Maybe. Well, when did you go to work down here? Hey, you stepping on my hand grenade and gun back there? What? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stomping on that. There's a cardboard box in the part of me. Is it back underneath? I'm not. I'm, I was stepping on a gray cowboy boot and this uh, metal, this, this yellow switch thing looks like a sign that you they press. Right, right here. <laughs> hey, no, do not step on that. Avery, what is that? It's a gun. Is that legal? Yeah, it is. Why is there a gun on my feet loaded? And that hand grenade. What? <laughs> Show me that. I can't see it. Move your fat thumb. It's a hand grenade. It's an egg grenade. It's an egg grenade. From 1942. Turn it slowly. Turn it slowly. From 1942. Okay, why do you have and this? Year, and this year, this year, this year is a Ross grenade launcher. What? Yeah. What is that for? Um, it's for that half track that I have. Okay. That half track with my other my other machine. Don't lose that. Well, good thing the cops didn't pull us over. Well, it's got nothing to do with it. It's all legal, hoople head. Sure. <laughs> you know how it goes. It's an egg grenade. There ain't very many of them around. Okay, so we we have, even know how long do we have to make the ferry? Hopefully the ferry's not full, right? Yeah, hopefully the ferry's not full or else uh, we're paddling. We're seeing if this thing floats and we'll go pick up the other float device. That's a that's a good thing. We if on the way home we might you know we technically have a life preserver. I don't know how well it'll do. It'll sink. It's gonna be very full of shit. Nah, uh, this this is. I'm actually fairly excited to see this thing. It's gonna be a genuine basket case, but I, the guy that built our sound truck, Derek McDerek. Yeah, Sparky. Derek. What's his last name? Derek Bird is his name. Is uh, I talked to him the other day and he's gonna come and weld it all back together for us. That's perfect. Do you remember when you're working with Derek? Just don't ever leave anything there and tell him to weld it together because everything will be welded. Yeah, yeah, everything will be welded. Yeah, it'll be welded everything will be welded together. You'll come back and about three days worth of work will be done in about one hour. It'll be all welded together. Crooked, straight, it upside down, backwards. However, you left it, yeah. however you, it'll be welded <laughs> with a perfect it. bead on it. Yeah. But it'll be welded. Just like this? Well, go get him here crop pile. You pour your crop pile out. Okay, well, you're up. Yeah. It still amazes me how fast that man He well, is incredibly fast. I was just noticing if I could try to shut this left uh, driver's side window. Yeah. But, uh, oh! I didn't do that if that's all you're looking at. There I, wasn't, I'll tell you. I what. didn't do that. There was a dog in here. There was, yeah. <laughs> And now there's no window. Put two and two together. He hit it with he hit that with the bobcat about a week ago. It wasn't me. It's not my truck. It's not my truck either. <laughs> Guess who we got this truck from? Huh? Whoever's the truck it is smells like his dog sh in it. pooped in it. Uh, it. No, it smells like it's just been licking all the seats. Yeah. The guys related to Mike. Sour. It, it feels like a Lincoln truck. It does smell like Mike's truck. Hey Jacob. Did yeah. you, did you have you a near, Did you have a near life death experience here? Yeah, you recognize this area? No, but yeah. Yeah. Just up here. The mushroom cooker. Mike was putting up <clears throat> I was working for Mike putting up the 
the the mesh on the side of the mountain there <laughs> and i harvest some some what i thought at the time were wild shallots turns out they're called death camas and no i didn't know what the hell that was but i learned that you're not supposed to if they're it, I better not mix it up now i learned that if if, if they're either white skinned or red skinned one of the two you, you're not supposed to eat them and so on that mountain there right there right there i i harvested some of that stuff cooked her up at home and then in the, ne in the next morning i rock guarded the whole side of mike's brand new truck <laughs> with puke <laughs> how long did you get sick for it was uh i was in the hospital for at least 10 hours down here oh. and it, it was crazy because um i felt completely calm and fine but my heart rate was going up in tens from like low from like super low like 30 40 beats per minute all the way up to 100 and something and it would go up in like 10 in 10 uh and i'm on it would go up in 10 in 10 minute or 10 i can't think what it 10 was. beat inter inter yeah, intervals yeah yeah intervals intervals it was it was and i just felt calm and calm as calm could be and they're like this is the problem is that if you're out in the bush and you eat the thing and you're hiking down the mountain your heart will explode because you just, you can't tell how fast it's racing. Nanaimo, here we come. What's that? Nanaimo, here we come, getting them bars, huh? You know the history of the Nanaimo bars? Because I don't. Me neither. I know their future is getting eaten. <laughs> you get yourself a DC Sunny start from the White Spot Cafe. I don't know the history of the Nanaimo bars, but I know their future. <laughs> Lisa Boat Del Bar. Del Beer. You know their. F no, the fucking. No, stop swearing. Here we go. Lisa. What? Who? I like the nightlife. I like the boogie. You're still Under on the that silver song. ball. Lisa Del Bell. Del Bell? Del Bell. Lisa Del Bell. Lisa the Silver Ball. I don't know. Get your oogler out. I like the nightlife. I like the boogie under the silver ball. Do you got a receipt or something? Do you got a no, I didn't reservation book it. number? No. Oh, you should have told me. I had a ferry card. I thought you booked the. No. Thing. I had a ferry card. We could have got a deal. No, but it, I didn't book it. Okay. It was, it, no, it was. It's it was. Uh, it, they always pre sell the first thirty percent. Avery's got it. Cash or credit. 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 I don't think they take debit. They don't take debit. Yeah, they do. Well, they don't. They don't tap. It's, it's cash or credit, not debit. It is debit. This is debit credit. I have one too. They don't take it. Is it, they don't. Is it a Visa card? <clears throat> it's all good. It's all good. We're going to find out. You don't have to hear it from my mouth. You hear it from anybody else. Mad rush for the coffee. Mad rush, everybody. High knees. Get your knees up. Put your elbows out. Stick your hand out the fucking window. Is there a Do you swear? Right there's good. Right there. Get open the door. Get out. There yeah. you go. All right. Woohoo! Get some coffee. Oh, look at that. Oh, look, at <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Hey, look at this. Look how close we are. See? So yeah. <laughs> Getting off the ferry. We're on a boat. We're gonna go buy another artifact. It's all Jacob's fault. Pre-owned. As all as I know about this thing, his tires are six hundred dollars a piece for it, and it doesn't come with them. <laughs> the tires are worth more than what I'm paying for it. But I think it's worth. A, I think what you're paying for it, it's worth probably three times as much. I would have to think that if you had what's built right there, you'd probably be into it for about forty grand. What's there? You're usually not off on your numbers, but even if it was 30, and it, it's still a good deal. Like you'll never make this thing for well, how it, much? By the time all the tires and stuff are on, it's worth about 30 grand, probably, I would think. Okay. 40, I should say, with the tires are yeah, on. Yeah, okay. What they got there probably to build it. God, Just, you know, it might be even more into it. It's so expensive not to do anything. There's at least $30,000 worth of equity in this thing. Yeah. yeah. 
But Avery, do you want to talk? Is there the part of that equity is, is is like blood, sweat, and tears, right? Well, I tell you what, to take it, engineer it all, and put it together, and engineer to lay it out and everything. Again, if you paid somebody to do it again, like I say, yeah. I still think it's about thirty, about thirty thousand. Like Jacob says, forty might be a bit high, about thirty grand probably. Even if you sat there for a year in your kitchen figuring it out, that's still pay another guy a month or something to figure out. And there's lots of welding done on this thing. There like is. a lot and lots of good aluminum. Figure out where we're going. We just got a shot here. I love basket cases, and I'll tell you why. Because you are one. Exactly. Somebody has spent a gazillion dollars on it, yes. and you're buying everything for 10% on the dollar to 25% on the dollar when you buy it, and it's all there. And 90% of the time, 90% of the pieces are there for it. But again, you have to sit there and put it all back together, which is part of the fun of it, actually. It's like, yeah, it's a puzzle, right? It's like putting, but the puzzle, somebody somebody else started the damn thing. But the other thing, now I'm saying on the other side of it, you gotta make sure the guy that bought it has lots of good parts. So if you got, I just looked at the pictures of this thing, we both looked at them. Mm -hmm. It's got a brand new Volkswagen motor in it. It's got new doors, windows in it. Yeah, anyway, somebody started this project and to finish it is a whole lot less work than it is to start it. Like so much of the thought, so much of the, the plan, it's already done, it's already there. You just have to put it all together. I just so. hope that the guy knew how to measure to put it together. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Even if the thing is a rhombus, it'll still go down the road. It's all good. Is that radio? Thanks. A rhombus. A rhombus. If it's crooked, it won't matter. It's not like it's a. It, we're not going to deal with told me to spit the axles on it are made out of some super duper stainless steel that they used to make bolt propeller shafts out the of. The amount of money they put into this thing, you would never in your life put into this thing. Ever. When somebody has more money than God and they're building a project that they like, you know that they're going to spend money and buy nothing but the best of the best for the stuff. Like it's a passion thing and you're not passionate about it, you're passionate about finishing it, bequeathing it. I'm passionate about finding some tires and I work $600 a piece for it. 18 inch rims. It looked like you didn't make them all yet, though. You only no, made... no. That's some spares. I asked him. Oh, okay. The rims are all made. He's got this. They're all made. They're all made. Like, okay, well, how much does it cost to stretch a rim? Probably about three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars a rim. A rim. So there's six of them, plus a couple spares. We'll say six. We'll say three hundred dollars. Or I don't think you can do it for three hundred dollars. I don't even know if you can. No. Maybe a maybe, that's maybe two hours. One hundred and fifty dollars. That's two hours. Two hours plus a piece of material to roll it. I don't think you'd do it. It probably. Long story short, this guy's got so much more money into this thing than you would ever put into it, and then that you will put into it. Like, you don't have to put in nowhere near the amount of hours and money that's that's already been put in. It's seventy percent of it's done. It's got a brand new rebuilt Volkswagen van motor in it. You which can is... sell that van motor to what's his name? Camping in the woods. And get your money, money back. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's buying, but always positive, no swearing. I almost want to take that van motor out and sell it and put a diesel in it. I think you should put a TDI in there and make this thing spool up. Well, a TDI would have just about it would have enough power. Uh -huh. like I, I'm not real. It's not that Volkswagen engine. I know why you put it in there because it's flat. You know. Yeah, because it's simple too. I don't know. Again, well, when we see it, we'll know right away what's possible yeah. and have a better idea at least. And to think of, again, this thing runs on hydraulics, so it's nice to have the torque to run it. It's a, you need torque. You need a diesel motor in there. But again, do we want to start reinventing the wheel? It's not that much. You could pull You could pull that little three-cylinder Kubota motor out of that generator and stuff it in there. It would go just as fast. The thing is, how much RPM do you get out of a hydraulic drive? Not a lot. The only tournament, probably 2,500 RPM is where it turns out. So, that Volkswagen doesn't make any power no. probably down below that much. I don't know. I think you need to put a little three-cylinder <laughs> Zuzu or diesel engine in there. Like, a, like that little Kubota motor out of that the light plant. Front See, I have, a one. I have a motor. Perfect. Put I have it a in. brand new one sitting on my floor. Remember the one I bought? That, that, that uh, I Oh, that, that, um, it's the, the Italian one or something. Yeah, it's 110 horse. A little that. baby turbo on it. Yeah, it would run it's that. all like bronze color. It's like gold, you know. So I do have a motor that would run that pump all day long. 
that motor's been sitting there and needs something done with it. So again, that Volkswagen motor is probably worth three thousand dollars or more to get rid of. I don't know. We'll take a look at it and see. Again, I think they put it in there due to for height reasons. I don't know. He could have been I a Volkswagen know. nut. We don't really know. I don't know what. Before, it is I know we're gonna find out. I'm sure this guy's got four hundred stories on how he got there. So when he did all the math hey, on it. What about fuel? I know the fuel gauge doesn't work in this jewel, so uh, you want to get some fuel and maybe fill the jerry can while we're at it, or what? How much fuel? I fueled up in. Uh, okay, so the question is, how much do you want? How bad do you want to run where, out of where, fuel? Where are we at? For fuel up in fuel up in the next town. Okay, we're there. Next town. Nah, the next town is. Dude, you don't even know where we are. I, mean, I do so. We're gonna jump in Jiminy's. <laughs> around the corner there's a big ass one there's a big canadian there's a can uh, electric cat on the side of the road coming up avery what's the sound tires of this it's tight it's the tires on the asphalt reverberating back off the barrier the rubber on the road it's when the rubber hits the road buddy it's when the rubber hits the road here's this one. Oh yeah that guy's whistling old whistling dixie you reckon yeah. it is it smells a lot better out there than it smells in here, yeah. I tell you that much. It's always interesting to see something in pictures and then see it in real life. It's, uh, my track record hasn't been that great lately. I've looked at a lot of stuff that looked good. I got there and it was absolutely junk. So, it's kinda, kinda like Here's the Christmas time. You never really know what you're gonna get. But it is Christmas. <laughs> yes. The, dif the difference is I found this one. And uh, the stuff I find. You found the, 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 la the, the last one. Record? The last one you found was. I drove all the way to Calgary. I think we're winning on this one. I think it's a winner. I, I hope it is. According to him, about 95% of the parts are there. There's pieces there. There's a high, there's winches. He says all the oil tanks, the fuel tanks are already manufactured. Everything's all bent. It just needs to be welded back together. The thing, yeah. It looks like the body needs to be welded back together. But the nice thing is the parts are there. And that's the expensive part. That's why we liked it. It's because everything was there. And when an older gentleman does a project, especially when it's aluminum and somewhat marine, that usually means it's going to be pretty good, unless some guy's trying to build some boat out of sticks, then it's a whole other story. But usually the marine stuff, it just means it's... I, I predict that this guy is way more persnickety about things, in particular about things, than you are. So therefore, the craftsmanship it has to be good. It's going to be good. I looked at a little bit of the way it was built. I looked at what type of drive chain. Uh -huh. I looked at the size of the drive chain uh -huh. used on it and stuff. And it's built very well. It's got double. It's got double fifty in it, I think, which is what's that? That's the size of the chain. Okay. It's got twin links, a 50, mm -hmm. 50, 50, 50. Mm -hmm. and it's got there's double links of it, and it's uh, it's tough. Like an Argo uses probably double thirty, maybe. Right, right, right. Well, this thing's way more heavy duty than Argo. Argo is just a perfect example of what it's kind of like because it's got six wheels and it's amphibious. But this, no, I don't know of any other hydraulic drive. Somebody would know. Somebody's probably made something like this before. But I'll it's, tell you what, it's, it's got, two hydraulic drives and chain driven on the rest of the tires, right? It's just, yeah. So I'm actually quite excited about it, but I just don't want to get, I don't want to get too wound up about it, but. Well, I got an exit strategy. You know what that is? Jump in the truck and leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got to go for coffee and think about it. My uncle Chris, who has that big do dog breeding spot, the dog trainer in Saskatchewan. Yeah. He is also a wild rice farmer and he goes way out to the bush. He's got hectares upon hectares of land lease and he harvests wild rice up there with his dogs all by himself and he hauls an Argo up there. Interesting. And this thing would be absolutely perfect for him. We're getting in the logger country here. He must be near this guy's homestead. Well, this guy said he was a logger one time, so. Got wood. Let's go. Look at the old trucks back there. You see that? Oh, you see all the shit? Yeah. You see all the stuff back there? Uh oh. We might have to go back there. I'll tell you what, it's a good thing we only got a small trailer. 
We don't even have a trailer. Small thing. That's how small it is. Yeah. There is actually a lot of good junk buried in this island. For years and years and years, people from all walks of life coming out here and getting away from the planet and bringing little pieces with them all along the way. Like all sorts of stuff. Oh yeah, I've seen one of those on the island years Keelan, and years ago. Cool. I saw a bull nose. You see that Ford back there? Yeah. See that? That's a yeah. square headlight. It's going to be 78, 79 Ford. That's my favorite truck, you know that? I know. It is my favorite truck. I want to get one real bad too, just to piss you off. Just to drive around it and try to take out trees. Yeah, that's yeah. It'll push a tree yeah. over. One turn away. Just trying to sell fiber optic. You getting uh, butterflies in your stomach Woo! again? Yeah. You ready for this amphibious beast? I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good. Yeah. Stay, reason, make reason. sure you stay together, right, guys? Yes. Stay close. You got it. The reason it's going to be good is we'll stay in frame here. Is because the tires are worth more than the goddamn vehicle I'm paying for. We're on North Moor. More North. Don't run the coffin. No, no, I'll get them. I'll get them. Maybe that's them there. Maybe that's them there. I don't think this guy thought we were going to show up because it was kind of funny. Did you actually talk to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2D yesterday, I think. I think that's him right at the end of the road here. I think you're. I think you could. Look at that weird trailer he's got. Oh yeah, that's his garage. I remember yeah. from the pictures. What kind of a weird trailer. Oh, that's a solar panel on it. That's about, that's about it looks a, like a home build. No, that's a god darn expensive car trailer. Like a trailer's worth about eighty five dollars. Oh, that's stuff, right? Oh, that? That's a two. That's a. That's Here, got I'll two get out first, okay? Stacker. That's a stacker. A parker. I'm parking it. I'm parking it in the semi. Park spot. Crooked spot. I feel my pocket getting lighter already. <laughs> Hello. Well, you haven't seen it yet, so you don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, we all could buy it. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. I see you. This is Len. On, on the big screen. On the big screen? Yeah, I got you. Hi, Len. Jacob. Hey, good, 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 good. This yeah. is Matt. This is Matt. Jacob. Hi. Jacob. What's your name? Stan. It's your Stan. Good to meet yeah. you. Yeah. What's that, a stacker? You got some race cars or something? Or? Oh, well, my son in law. He's My daughter and my son in law are into race cars. Oh, what kind of race cars? Uh, dirt track, roundabout. Oh, oh nice. Oh, wing cars, things, yeah. you know. The oh, the, the, uh, what the, do they call them again? They did the, oh, what the heck. The little them? single seaters with the tires yeah. that stick out and the big yeah. wing on the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they sprints? Spr yeah. Small sprints. Sprints, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, they do that, so it's all good, but. Yeah. Well, you can't be all bad. You got a Ford in your driveway. Oh, come on now. Yeah. Hey? yeah. Oh, no. That'd be ah. good. We got a six liter? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Seven three. Oh my God, that old, eh? Oh yeah, what a gem. <laughs> They're all he old. Is a, he, he's a Ford guy. A well, that guy. truck's a good shape. Oh. Yeah, they go forever, hey? That 7.3. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. When they see it, they want to give you more. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, about go. $8. There <laughs> <you go>. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Sweet, man. Uh, well. Yeah, Len just popped by here, so I didn't even got my shoes on or nothing. Oh, no, you're all right. good. All right. Also, the old guy, he's, been, he's built a lot of cars in his day. Was that right? He's a car builder? Yeah, he's he, 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 he got all the lights on. The old guy, that guy. Okay. Just turn these lights on? Yep. You got her. Oh, yeah, wow. Maybe, maybe you got Jeez! Her. It's wider than it looks. Which bigger is, than you thought, eh? Yes. It's a lot wider than it looks. I saw your tape measure on there. It's only seven and a half feet. Oh, that's fine, but it just, it just you know. It's, I know visually. It's, visually, it's, but uh, I, I mean, I saw your tape when you ran up the 12 feet, and that gave yeah, a good, good idea, obviously. Yeah. Now that motor has enough power to power this, eh? That was the theory. Yeah. The theory. He, he, my my buddy uh, did a lot of a lot Long of planning, eh? a lot of layout, a lot of looking to get the power. Where was he, he was he a Volkswagen guy that made him go down that road or something or? Uh, he 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 didn't never had a Volkswagen, okay. but um, he uh, was around a lot of them. Yeah, okay. Because sometimes that's just how it is. You get used to something. You're like, oh, I want to put yeah, that, that I, motor in there. But here's a question that I am curious about: How much money? What's he into this for? <laughs> He's got to be into it for thirty or forty thousand almost. Well, this is you know you got to this is what? Oh gosh, twenty, 
25, 30 years ago we started building this. This is now. wild. It's a crazy so thing. The money that went into this thing is astronomical. And how long have you had it here for? Oh, I mean, it's been gone five years, I guess. Oh. Yeah. And his idea for this, for what it's going to be for him, what, what was that? Just a moose hunting rig. Nice. Basically, Getting you know, out just, there. Yeah, he just yeah. he had this great idea that he was going to go up the Musqua and the Prophet Rivers. And I know where that is. This is Fort St. Again. We're Fort back in Fort St. John, John again. again. We we're talking yeah. to guys because he's back, from Fort St. Yeah, John. We're back. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we we're, we're on the ferry talking yeah, to a bunch of guys that <laughs> all about Fort St. John. Everywhere we go, we meet people that are yeah. living out in Fort St. John. So anyway, that's that's what he wanted. So well, that's what he, he was. It was more of a hunting kind of yeah, excursion it, thing. My buddy was just one of those guys. He you know he'd get yeah. he'd build a boat, he would build this, he'd build that. And yeah. What did he do? What was his job? He he was a, a craft or whatever. Uh, a body man basically. Okay. Yeah, but he was he was quite a quite a guy. He was pretty much into. Mm -hmm. Anything he put his mind to, you know, he's just one of those smart kind of engineers. I tell you what, yeah, just building stuff. He, yeah, this, there's a lot more space in here than I thought. This is big. I like it. It's a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's. Uh, I mean, th this is a project, guys. Oh, we'd <laughs> understand. Yeah, yeah. Th this yeah. is not. You know, I mean, if you're going to go forward with it, it's a it's a project. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that is kind of the things that we don't ever buy anything that's finished. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are the, well, we obviously know what these are. These are the hydraulic drives, right, Dave? And so yeah, it's got two some... fronts, so it's rear, but there's cha these are the chain tunnels, right? Yeah, they all link together. It's driven off the back, and then you see there's a space in there for the offset for the gear or whatever, and another chain goes up there. Those are essentially just like idlers. This is where all the power is distributed for the drive. It's got some big motors in it, I know. I just, that motor surprises me that it's got enough power to power this. But you gotta think, it's not producing, like, you're only making pump pressure, it's, right? Like you're not, you don't need to get that thing spinning to max that out, you're just done after it, right? Because it's only gonna accept so, so much RPM, is it not? This torque is what it needs. I can't believe how much money, I can't believe how big this one is. It is big. What does that one do if you... Oh, hey, what are these? Are they all tanks? No, it's dip sticks. Them chain, them cave, them, they all run in oil. Oh, so this is a closed compartment. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, that is so interesting. That is a stainless scrap the exhaust for good money. I'm gonna come see you. What are you, what are you looking at there, <laughs> Jesus? Stainless exhaust. Oh, look at that. That's a couple hundred bucks right there. This thing. Move that ladder too far. I tell you what, it's been a lot of work done on this thing, it's man. It's crazy. I knew it when I saw it. Now, wouldn't you say that these axles are made out of some kind of weird stainless? Monel. What the heck is that? Monel. Now, you said you use that in, like, is using bolt props? Inch and a half. So. Yeah, they were used in the inboard uh, prop shafts on boats, mainly. And they use mm -hmm. all kinds of, the bolt mills use a lot of that stuff for. Mm -hmm different things, but they're un unbendable, basically. Is that right, eh? You know, they're, they're like high grade. Well, I tell you what, the one good thing about this is, it's big enough that all the parts should fit the inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. It's a big enough tub, you were worried about that. Uh, okay, what else do we know? I don't know, I, I tell you what, it's, I wonder what the, then we're, they were orbital, orbit, orbit, can't even say the word. Orbital motors? They're big motors. Yeah. Yeah. But pumps, but he, he worked a lot with our local, which was at the time a local hydraulic shop. The couch, okay. Couch and Hydraulics, it was mm -hmm. called. He worked a lot with them guys and all the setting up and deciding what they needed and what they wanted and the amount of power it would take. And, hmm. But, yeah, I mean, at the, yeah, and the, you know, and then the machining, all the machining that he, they, it's just there is a pile. Of, like I said, he must be. I, I can't imagine just these chain cases to build these chain cases. Yeah, is uh, just to do that hundreds of hours. Like I tell you, it just it's like you. <laughs> yeah, no, all, the, all the, the machining was all done in another another machine shop, and like you just the frame is rigid. Them chain boxes. 
make this thing rigid. I'm interested in why he driven off the back and not the middle. I'm, I'm, I'm curious about that. Yeah. I think it was more of a, I believe it was a weight balance thing. That's okay. what we were thinking the small motor was a part of too, is yeah. a weight balance Try, thing. You're just trying to keep everything balanced out. And by the time you put your fuel tanks and that back here, right? It, it mm -hmm. kinda, mm -hmm. And then your pat, you're sitting up there yeah. uh, as a, you know, for controls. Also, it might yeah, it might have just worked out well I, to have the 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 idler offset like that versus having it there. Yeah, it could have been that part too. So, I'm not sure. Part. One thing about it, this thing will float. It'll play hold probably about two thousand pounds. That that's what I kind of remember him figuring it out as about two thousand pounds. Hold a ton of gear. yeah. That's once, about, once it was all yeah. completed. Yeah. And okay, now let's look at that. Your flotation there is in your tires. Right? Yes, absolutely. Oh, Hi there. Look at that, we've got some 60s mags. Yeah, yeah that's great. I tell you what, these are like a lot of money, man. I, it's, yeah. Yeah, having all this stuff. It's a, it's a machine shop that built, did, one, one guy did all this. And did, and it was oh, okay. Oh, it's got a nice little hydraulic winch on it. Well, it wasn't hydraulic. He built a, had, a, had an adapter built. Holy. So to run it off the rollers, and the third the third pump on that is for the winch. Oh, it's an eight thousand brand new eight thousand pound worn winch. <laughs> Fuel. Oh, look at that. And I'm missing one one part of the hydraulics for some reason. Uh, the tank there, the bottom part for some reason. But. Oh, there's pump. Put one thing at a time. This one here. Okay, 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 Jacob, 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 Whatever it was, I can't remember, 3,000 pounds or... But he already has them all set. Your winch control, I take it? Yeah. Winch control. And these, these I believe, were connecting Indeed. all this stuff together. Hence the organized the same Because they, they've got to go in a, a block, you know, there's going to be a, a flow between them. So that one would flow back to tank. Okay. For relief, for relief, for relief. You know, if it came up hard against something or solid against something, it would, it would relief on the... I don't understand that. They probably are separately because there's two separate pumps. Each one would be on its own pump. Yeah, but they could they, I, They'd probably I, come right out of the pump onto the relief valve or wherever. Or, okay. Or they, they still have to go back to tank somehow when they bypass. So. I don't like it. There's yeah, parts. This, 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 yeah. this, I kept this because this was this is these relief valves. Okay. Valves. So they never have to. Yeah. So you go part numbers. Yeah, and there's there is all the part numbers and pieces and drawings and um, oh my god, a six pack of O-rings. What the hell are they for? Yeah, it could just know. be it could be O-ring material. Okay, for self making them. Yeah, yeah probably. Well, look at that, all this restraints. Yeah. All right, what's in the next box? Eh? Yeah, yeah. Happy Christmas. <laughs> you told you said something. About Christmas. Oh, we'll work in the back end here. That's all your filtering. What's in that one? Just another hydraulic motor pump that I don't know what it was for. It Extra like parts, parts, yeah. And just parts and pieces. And That's good. And it's a filter housing, all the piping that you can figure it out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Especially uh, Yeah. I tell you what. Yeah, there's, 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 there's a lot of money in parts. So I'll make that then? Yeah. That's machined. Out of curiosity, is that the seat? Is that a seat for it there? Well, it's it's a seat that he, I think, just got a hold of. I think it's out of a, a boat seat. It's a great seat. I like the. Okay, this. what do you got in there, Avery? What do you got in there, Avery? What's in that one? Got the windshield. Oh, oh look at that! Some old windshield wiper motors. Yeah, I don't know. There's your chain. And that's 60. 60. Double 60? Okay. Double 60. Double 60. I thought it was 80, but 60, that's it's you're never gonna stretch that. Never break it, never stretch it. And some base slides, yeah. Oh, oh look at that. 
There's your tensioner. He you know, something he built. It's a chain splicer. Yeah, chain tensioner. Yeah. For freaking putting your links in or whatever to put your chain together. Yeah. He built. And the spare. That I I think that might have been something he used to build the, the um, jig for the hubs. The hubs. Yeah. And that that is the wrench that belongs to this. There's a, I don't know where they are on these ones, but on they're on there, but there's a steel collar that goes on okay. there. You see how this is eccentric H here? Yeah. So the steel collar tightens onto the shaft and locks this to the shaft. Okay. You know, so it can't, so the shaft can't slide. Okay. So it just goes in, in so the, that's on to the, get it uh, off, to get it apart. That yeah, I'd put it on tight, tighten it up basically. Yeah. yeah. Very cool, very cool. Look at that, some spare lug nuts. Well, they're not, yeah, they're not just spare lug nuts. Those are all hand machined what? out of stainless, 316 stainless <laughs> hex bar. Oh, come Stainless, too. Well, you know, rust. Yeah, right? well, I understand. It's just, like, <laughs> for a guy like me, I just think that's twice as expensive. Some exhaust manifolds. Yeah, that's, that's... Yeah, I left one out here to show you where they actually went. So, yeah. This, this, this is the hookup for. Oh, okay, so there's a little holder. Yeah, left and right. They go right, they're already. Yeah, I think that it's. That stuff's right already there. made. Yeah. I told you. Oh, yeah, you just finish it. Just yeah. finish it. Because, so, of course, naturally we can think you, of. Can you hold that there for me again? Yeah, Naturally, we think oh. of like uh, repowering and stuff like that. But uh, this is a project just oh. finished. There's so much yeah. work into it. You just do it exactly so the puzzles sit up. Yeah, it just yeah. sits there like that. So you have your, you know, gives you the, 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 the flex you need to, mm -hmm. to isolate it in. He put in, like I said, he, he, just little things he did. Like he, the extra motor mounts. Like he's got four sets. This this is all rubberized hang mounts. He's got front ones, center ones, back you ones. Torque it up. Like yeah. just sit. So just well, that's important. It holds the back of that pump. Is this little weight hanging off there? Yeah. So, but all those things take up so much time, and it's all like we know we've done these little tricky things where you're building stuff the whole way. Yeah. No, it's tell you what. Thousands and thousands of hours. It's a project. Oh yeah. It's a, it's a project. There's buddy. so much done though, like there's just so much thinking of it is done. You just have to put it back together, right? Yeah, yeah. There's so much of it done, just the thinking, like the coffee the coffee cup in hand, you know, just... <laughs> well, I say there's lots of drawings and yeah. different plans, different... There is, there is a set of blueprints for it, or is it? He, when we originally said, I gave him a hand to um, mock this all up in yeah. cardboard. Okay. We bought, we bought big sheets of yep. pure cardboard okay. and designed this tape this whole thing together, you know, mm -hmm. to get an idea. So he had ideas to work from and how to mount the motor, how to build this. And, you know, and so he had a, a basically a cardboard prototype, prototype yeah. of this thing, yeah. right? So yeah. no, that's a good way to work. Yeah. It's big. I like it. Mm -hmm. so we $600 what do you think? I think this thing's amazing. Yeah. Wider than I thought, and that's great. It's big. Mm-hmm. There is so much oh, okay. thinking no, put no, into this. No. The amount of hours you'd bill out just for thinking. Like six hours for you, right? Yeah. I tell you what, there's a pile of work done of this thing. It's ridiculous. We missed a, missed a nut here though. I don't know. I don't know when you take it home though. Yeah. This thing is a bit of a dream boat, to be honest. A boat and a six-wheel boat. This thing is definitely float. It float just like this. You throw it in the drink right now. It needs to have a motor on the back. Yeah. You got the auxiliary pump. You put a hydraulic motor back. Right. With yeah, it, with it. Oh yeah. Propeller. Here, so. Propeller off the back of this thing. Run it off the winch motor with the winch pump oh, right there. Yeah. That's the winch pump. Where? Yeah. Right this, right is, right. this is the winch pump. But you could send a, a hydraulic line down to run a, a prop, so you have propulsion in the water. I'm not going to tear this apart. It's got all the gauges, the tack, the, the, the well, heat. We take, we'll take a little look. I'll do this. This just not too much. Was that the heater core? I, I guess it. Well, I guess it was. Oil but cooler. Oh, oil I, cooler. I, I, I think it's something. Cooler. I think it might be something he was trying to incorporate. It was just in the stuff, and I right, right. couldn't really figure it out. But 
Okay, so special wrenches for special things. Windshield wipers for special things. This this is all the paperwork. Oh, all okay. The, like templates he made. Um, like a lot of. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. He it's heated, heated for windshield wash. We love that. Hey, get your hot wash on. <laughs> That's kind of neat. Everybody out there washing his armpits. That's kind of cool. <laughs> uh, he he thought of. Yeah, the gauges. The crafty guys. So spare, I tell you, the, the spare uh, is, all the spare. The instrument you, panel is not. What? Did he build that yet, or is not built? Not built. No. That's no. no. You make it. Where did he plan on right. steering this from, or where, who, when, where, or what? Well, that that's up for debate. <laughs> you drive it in the middle or off to the side? Well, that's up to you. Box yeah, there, so. yeah, maybe there might be some plans in those blueprint box there. I had some idea. Of I take it this uh, is the roll cage. Parts, parts, receipts, and uh, uh, all that kind of stuff. These are your canopy. Yeah, your roll bar, your main roll bar. And your back. I think I think his plan was to have this little. We're just gonna put the little one at the back here. Yeah. Something like here, just and it was, he had a uh, a boat. Yeah. He had a, a uh, 12 foot uh, punch. Yeah. Rump, flat nose, flat bottom uh, punch that he was going to use as a roof. Right. So and then the push logs. But he said, why do you need this? This is a good super outfit. He just wants to get everything on it. Oh, yeah, that's cool though. But, um, yeah, I know I. The, um, Where's the first thought of steering that you think of, Avery? This thing's going to look so cool with tires on it. If you, I, I assumed I would, I would like to sit here, Avery, like one, so you had either side. Yeah. And then you'd, you'd bring your controls because you got a swash. Your swash plate's right there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can run your controls. Now you can't just go, I don't think anyway, that you can just go from here, direct with a with an arm, I think it's going to be too violent. I think you're going to have to put a, a, a cam of some kind or a, sure. some to some linkage. So let's say three to one or yeah. five to one. Yeah. You know, otherwise you know, otherwise it's on or off. It's too very violent. too quick. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you're trying, you're jumping and bouncing. You slow down the race, the spinning exactly. ratio. Yeah. So that's. Yeah. But, but, but you can build linkage wherever you want to go with it and do whatever yeah. necessary to make it actually but you drive it from the boat side or the, the car side i wonder entirely up to you you were the bench you in the can, middle you can sit you can you sit can here struggle. you can yeah. sit here but i would like to sit here closer to the windshield <laughs> and higher yeah but that's just me you zoom tight very good so yeah it is a cool unit. I, mean, I just look at it. There's, there's the, the this this here was for um, this gets welded into this area. Yeah. And that looks it, like some good storage spots underneath it in the front. Well, it's, it wasn't more for storage. I think he was going to put the cooler in there. The, the coolers, I think, was part of the the, the thought. Mm -hmm. Okay. And let's then, again. And then, where? and then also you need because you need air for the engine. So this is. Oh, there's some air holes. Air and then the air goes in here. Yeah. Goes out there, blows out this that way, right? Right. Okay. But I don't know. It, there's. It's. I mean, you, there's yeah. lots of different you know, cooling thoughts. No, right? that's a good idea because when you nose this son of a gun, if you go into the water exactly. on it or water on the water, that yeah. you're gonna get the water and it'll. If it's there's a the front, you'll suck it right full of water. Yeah. That's a good idea. He had a little, I think I saw a little drawing in there, just a little, little sketch, where he had a, um, a lip angle iron or something. Like, it was going to be watertight here. The hood, mm -hmm. the hood would drop on, mm -hmm. and it would be water, you know, rubber seal or whatever. Yep, yep. But then, yeah, so then your, your air exchange is happening under here in a dry compartment. Yes. Essentially. And yeah. And you just have to make things plumb this way. And, yeah. yeah. Hmm. And it had some one one time I was thinking about putting a, 
it's carb air, carb air here, but yeah. it's not, not necessary. I don't think you need, it's just, it's, it's, if you get enough air, you know. It's going to suck from the cab or on top or some other where, yeah. wherever it is. Right. Yeah, very, very cool. When I first got this thing, I couldn't drag, I was dragging the back wheels and I what the heck was going on because you had the pumps full of oil. Oh, so oh it, was, it was locking. So it was all locked up, so I couldn't move the drag in the tires. So what the heck took me a while to scratch my, as you can tell, scratch my Shut head. Shut your head. <laughs> <laughs> took you a while, yeah. yeah. And I take it this is the oil cooler. Well, it is an, it is an oil cooler. I'm not sure. Yeah. Really, um, those are your fuel, fuel and oil tank centers. Yeah. There's uh, that's that's about it. And that's your this year. Let's see if you can set that in there. Put the tank in there. Is it probably going to the... Is it no, the, I don't know which way you want to... You know, which yeah, way chuck it in there. Let's well, we're going to move it back. Yeah. Where, do you, where did you think it went? Like in the front? Or in the middle? Or? Well, it's hard to say. Either way. I'm thinking kind of in the center. Well, let's take a center longer. Let's, see what like. let's do it. That right there, that gives... If you pull and get it, don't get the heavy. Now where is it going? Thing. Back there? I don't know. There's two. There, hang on. There's marks. There's also two marks there, but there's marks all along that side. So oh, just take your. No, those one. are welding marks. Here. Yeah, that's yeah. probably good. Tell you what, I was looking at this and I was going, you know what, the sides aren't very strong, mm -hmm. and now that's all over and done with. <laughs> it's tough as bear shit. Yeah. Well, it's not welded yet either, right? but you it's know what? Tight. You can put oh, that oh, in yeah, there, yeah, no, it's tough you can put that in there. It just well, look, this. You, you got relief on that side because that side's cracked. Yeah, it's not even well. Yeah, and that was that was busted up from a different idea. There's something oh. the price is starting to go down already. <laughs> <laughs> You I, figured out some more problems, Jacob. I seen it coming. <laughs> uh, it's not a problem. That's the only problem. Is that this must have been. Problem? I could see this thing going further back because of the room there, but just to get out of the this drive. This is the oil tank good. side. Oh, this is good it's for six and one half a dozen the other. I don't think it. This is good for getting home. It gives us a partition to put the parts in. Yeah, I tell you, you what. You got to come up with a seat, and then figure out where you want to, what you want to do with that. Um, I don't Steel. think. I don't think. Trying to sit in the middle of this thing. That's my original when I was thinking, what did you do, Wayne? Did you want me to sit in the middle of this thing? I didn't think no, yes. that's yeah. I think it's just a pass. I yeah. it's six and one half a dozen of the other because it's in order to straddle weight. that pump is I don't think it's yeah. gonna be very it's about weight distribution. I don't know, it might it you might put three seats over that and straddle center of that pump. I don't know. To take and drive it, I don't know. Yeah. It depends how high up in the air you want to be. You want to do, you, like you said, you want to be, you probably do want your head around the, the window pane, you know? Yeah, Vis visually you want yeah. to see what you're going into. Yeah, and you don't want to be too low in because then you... And you want to be able to, you know, unless you're going to put a roof on it, you want to be able to stand up. Go sit right in the middle and see what it's like. Well, if I'm trying to do some rock crawling, I want to be at least this high so I can see. Options. Get ready, get right on top of that thing though, right there. Is there enough room there? Is it comfortable? That well, back here, if you had, a, if you had, oh, let's just get a tractor seat, here. One of them spring, <laughs> right? Then we're happening. Let's give it, woo! Get you one of them early bicycle seats. Yeah, banana seat on there. <laughs> Driving. If you had long enough sticks that only came out the top, there's your ratio, I guess. <laughs> but not quite. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that oil tank for weight distribution is probably real close to where it's to balance it out, I would think. Or I mean, it's not so bad if you think this, if this was the seat back here or even move forward. Yeah, too far back. Well, move forward, say, but 
I'm just sitting here thinking about seat height at this point, and this is actually you don't even have to use this. No, of course. Yeah. Take, take and just build tanks wherever you want. Hang a tank here or there, or whatever. Yeah. Well, this thing here was built for a reason when he built this. It's to uh, give it structural on the side and to hold it together, it all and to give it structure to here to strengthen it. So that there, I'll just I'll continue to use that. I think it'd be probably maybe good if you pushed it back past that center part or something. Oh, yeah, you gotta cut this. You know, you gotta cut this fit it. You know? For sure, no, but I mean, like position wise, like yeah, yeah. If you push it back a bit more, I would almost be just also calculating the dimension here. Take out stuff. <laughs> the only you know? thing I'm looking at, the only thing that woes you up where you put that is where the dipsticks are. And well, it's obviously boxes. not going any further forward than that. Well, it could go right forward over the other side, but it's too close to the front because that's a lot of weight back there. That weighs more than the motor just about. We'll put it in the middle and you're kind of doing all right. Because then if you yeah. put it in the middle or you put it just past yeah. the center wherever zero is, yeah. then then yeah. it doesn't matter how much fluid's in it. No. Like for well, it's right the center right now. Yeah. You've got a pretty good walk around the area here, but don't forget you're gonna have all the hoses and stuff. Yeah, well, this is all gonna be all clogged filter, up. Filters and all that has to go in there too, right? So you're gonna be up here. So you might, you know, maybe mount mount those hydraulic uh, blocks under there with the filters and that are, you know, kind of where you can Look at all that's done here for all the oil pickups and all the sump pickups and everything on it. That's a lot of work. It looks like he's... We guess he, I guess he thought about some of that We stuff. could even have it backwards. This could, it could be going that yes. way. Yes. Yeah. And it might even fit better that way. We don't know. But it's in there, so that's good. Anyway, there she is. Derek will have it welded out in about 20 minutes. Oh, we have this uh, one welder friend that helped us with some projects and he is just, you can't, if he knows he's supposed to go weld something, you can have it all down like this, 15 minutes, it's all welded, whether it's straight or crooked. You said weld it, <laughs> you you weld it like and they're job. amazing. Like, you don't yeah. want to grind it off because it's just too nice, even if it's crooked, you say. Yeah, I just can't believe how much time and effort and work is put into this thing. Yeah. Like again, like how many years? I. You've had it for five. He was yeah. it for 15 or something. So. Yeah, he was at least 15 or 20, probably 20 years. He, he was 25 years maybe. He was, you know, from from drawings to yeah. this stage, right? Conception. It sat in his garage for decades because, yeah, he had other projects. He had the old camper. He had cars. He had race car. He had, you know, like kind of like me. I tell you. Stuff laying around, Avery. <laughs> Something I know nothing about. <laughs> hey, Jacob, what? Come here. What are you holding up on us? What? What? Oh, what is that back there? I knew there was something behind that door. What's behind it? Which door? What's the, behind the, your, your bodyguard over here? What's behind the door back here? I spy with my little eye. Are we allowed to look? I spy, I spy with my little eye something back here. Something. Something. Oh, it's so green and nasty. Oh. Yeah, one of the old. It's an old timer. This one. Okay, I got, I got this when I was about 18 years old. Holy! You say that again in the door. It's, it's been. It's What's that again? When you got it one? How long have you had this for? Uh, I was probably 18, so I'm 75 now. So, so you'd have got it when it was just about brand new then, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I always <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I should respond. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. You bought it to see the first owner. <laughs> um, I'm the third wow. owner. Wow. Yeah. Is this a local car at some point? It was Victoria. It was bought, local in, bought and used in Victoria. My yeah. goodness gracious. That what is that? A 429? 420 or 460? Four, four, it's a 514. That's more numbers than those other numbers you just said. <laughs> I tell you what, it'll have a bit of pep. Yeah, Dino 615. You can tell the skinny tires are for steering. That's a this skinny tire. Now, have you driven it? The last for three summers now. Oh, nice. That's yeah. nice. That's nice. So work in work in progress. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Oh, yeah. What a great car, man. Yeah. So Will it lift the front wheels? Hmm? Will it lift the front wheels? I haven't put slicks on it, so... With slicks it probably would. Yeah. 
Yeah. You just get the wrinkle in the bike. Yeah. You have to get on all fours. Nothing. Stick your head under there. <laughs> I tell you what. We're going back. There's a few. It's a passion project. My goodness gracious. <laughs> It's cool. Sorry. Yeah. Yep. Building the frame. Yeah, building the frame itself looks uh that's a showpiece though. I right? tell you. What's underneath there, Jacob? Take a look at it and see. It is look. Got a light? Yeah. It's got the light. There's just a ton of work. It looks like a brand new car under here. And a fancy one. I don't know exactly what he's done, but this does not look like original air in this car. Oh, okay, cool. Those, those, the, the trailing arms. Can you get a shot of the diff for me in the, the back? The diff is weak. Can you get that light closer a bit? <laughs> oh, yeah. You got it, Pontiac. Hey? Ford powered Pontiac. You don't see too many of them around. We love it. All right. I tell you, it was, um, well, yeah, but, but that's nice. I left it all old school. There's no hydraulic clutch. It's all linkage. There's no, it's all manual brake. It's old all, hot rod and stuff. Yeah. Inside? Not, nothing, you nothing inside. Just, just hot rod style. It's just nothing. hot rod style. Yeah. The underneath, I tell you what. May we open the door? Yeah. Like it, oh it's, yeah, it's just classic hot rod style. It's this hot thing, rod. This is this is a, got, there's no finish work on the inside yet. I'm still, well, as you yep. can tell, I'm still sitting the hood and doing stuff. Like a true hot rod or what? Just the project's never yeah. done. That's pretty darn cool. Looks like a good driving car. It's though. amazing. Yeah, it's exactly. amazing. It's amazing the things that we drag through the course of our lives. Hey? <laughs> Yeah. There's just one or two things that we just hang on to. Some of us yeah. hang on to our wives, other of us hang on to cars. <laughs> well, I did that. <laughs> I hung on to my second wife. Does that count? Yeah. <laughs> just means you figured it out, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Something. But no, that's pretty interesting. That's, thank you for sharing that with us. That's yeah, that's, yeah. Well, one Another piece of history that yeah. lives on. She um, originally, originally had put a uh, 428 Cobra Jet engine in it. Okay. With the, it actually has the uh, the top loader four speed in it that I used. It's got a big spline or a small spline? Big spline. It's it, three eighths. Yeah. yeah, big spline. They're like this, eh? Yeah. They come in. Well, they come in four twenty nines, four twenty eights. Top loader, tough trap for it. It's just a top loader because yeah. the gears go in the top of it in the case. Okay. Yeah. That's why they call it a top loader. I took it all apart, cleaned it all, just put new O rings and gaskets and stuff in it, and it, it was in mint condition, it, and it. Had a rough life as a kid. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> grocery getter. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's um. It's very seldom you see these all, like I say, these old jewels, and it's all, it's all original, all metal. Yeah. Well, this one's actually cool because it's not just a preserved old car. I don't know. Like, there's just there's something of this is original era of hot rod kind of thing, right? Which well, in the air, inspired air, everybody. If, if you want to look at the back passenger window there mm -hmm. on the side there all that that was all some of the original all those stickers are original oh, this is a good this is a good man <laughs> that was stuff that i put on it when i was a kid before it was ever even look at that old before was... look at that old edelbrock wow. <laughs> oh look at that wow the little window of history yes this is all six sixties stuff uh that's when I first built the car, it was in the mid 60s. That's so cool. Look at the Edelbrock, is that ever cool, eh? He used to do a lot of hunting up towards where you wanted to go fishing or hunting. Oh, hunting. Yeah. He went up to Fort Nelson and over there, supposedly he went up to that area and went hunting and fishing and, and pissed around up there quite a bit. Oh, is that right? Yeah. The original Edelbrock. Vic, oh. Vic Edelbrock, yeah. I do believe. Himself, yeah. yeah. Well, the great, the great North. People were very interested from all over. I see you must not have too many kids living at home. Your booster cables are all still wound up on the, on the wall. <laughs> My son moved away. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Yeah. The booster, yeah, the booster cables are still wound up. Yeah, I got shit yeah. everywhere, but... Yeah. No, wait, hey, no, your wasp nest collection. Yeah, collect the wasp nest collection? 
Well, they kind of grow around the house in different places. So. Wow. We had a wasp nest episode you haven't seen yet. Some of those Winnie the Pooh up there. Yeah. That's, That's pretty cool. Goofy, goofy shit a guy collects. Yeah, but what yeah we all do. We all have it. <laughs> That's a nice little vendor you got. Yeah, it worked out, worked out well. But okay, right. let's get loaded the rest of this stuff. Counting some money. You keep counting. I'll be keep counting. Keep counting. Keep counting. Is there is there a plug in that one pipe? They're both sides. Is there corks in it or is that one open? No, this this is just got a screw. Oh, okay, good. Okay, they're both screw ends. We got some cardboard around here too. Yeah, so I just got the truck on there. It's all bound up. That looks like that edge of the piece. I must have used rubber. So, no, that's the that goes in the center. Oh, okay. Oh, here, because it's see the right. Yeah. structure, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. We can cut this up to the wheels or whatever you want to do there. So. Rollers, big rollers. <laughs> now you said, Avery, you, you said you could uh, find wheel, tires and stuff. That Six hundred U.S. a piece. They're not. I told you. <laughs> I warned you. Yeah. Warning, <laughs> warning. Yeah, that's that's kind of what he had in had in mind, was it? Or yeah, that originally I think that's what deterred him originally from the I think at the time they were probably well, what do you say here? They were probably three hundred bucks a piece at that point. I don't know which way that they're putting for this one in a minute, I guess. Stack them, I guess. Probably upright, put them up right in the way. I tell you what, yeah. We're not too worried about it. Not only that, it's really up high. Yeah, then people fit right behind you there. Uh, it's a high speed machine. Look at 
Look at that. Pretty tight there. Shop space. Yeah, that motor for something else. Yeah, I, just, I don't know where it's. I don't think it's even um, a thing, but maybe it is. Stop! Look at that. 